It's the Will Edwards Show, Las Vegas' only late-night variety talk show. And now, here's your host, Will Edwards. Hey everybody, welcome to the Will Edwards Show. We are on location for this episode. Well, kind of on location. We're here at the Indie Film Factory, the home of the Will Edwards Show, and we are very, very excited about this show. Who's on the show, you ask? Well, I'll tell you. It's the man, the myth, the legend. It is Robin Leach is our special guest, and I am excited to speak to him. Also, our musical guest is the very talented Sonia Seelinger. So, sit back, relax. I hope you're ready for this. Every so often, we like to uh, get out of the studio, just go out and, and, and do something a little different. And sometimes we meet some pretty big celebrities. I mean, pretty big. And this one, no different. So check out On the Strip with Will Edwards. Hey everybody, welcome to On The Strip. My name is Will Edwards and I am going to be your host. We have the honor of sitting in the home of a celebrity. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Will, thank you. Thank you for having me on the show. Hey, well, thank you for, for, for coming on. I mean, to be able to interview a celebrity of your caliber is... Uh... They're about 50 caliber, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, so um, <laughs> tell us a little bit about what you're up to now. I hear you're keeping yourself active in, in action films. And yes, stuff. yes, of course. I'm still doing the action films because I've still got the pompadour to get out there and kick Stallone's ass. You know how it is, Will. <laughs> yeah. It's basically in my DNA anymore. I'm sequencing DNA out of me right now with the action, the guns and everything, and the shooting. It's fantastic. Okay, excellent. And uh, oh, I hear that you are going to have a residency here in Las Vegas. That's correct, yes. I'm living here now and I'm making a little bit of a transition. I'm going to be a stand-up comedian. How about that? You like that, <laughs> huh? Well, that is, that is great news. And, and I hear that you are a jokester. Oh, come on, Will. You know I'm a jokester. I'm one of the funniest people in the world. You know this. You, you are that. So where are you performing? MGM Grand? Mandalay Bay, Venetian, what are you doing? Well, I'm actually performing down at the Container Park. Oh, oh, the Container Park. Well, it's, it's nice down there. They have a fantastic stage, and uh, I guess they'll be able to manage all the crowd that comes in for you. Not exactly at the Container Park, more near the Container Park. Oh, um, where, where, where near it? Well, it's, it's basically, it's across the street from the Container Park. Yeah, is it, there's a... Isn't there an empty lot across the street? Well, technically it's an empty lot, but sometimes I bring my microphone down there, I bring the speaker system down there, and the crowd comes around me. I'm, I'm basically a street performer right now, Will. You know how it is. Come on, Will. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. Wow. So, uh, do you got your jokes and everything set up? Did, did, did you want to hear the jokes right now? Because I was going to do that a little later in the show, but we could do it right now if you'd like. Okay, let's let's do it. Let's do it. A little stand-up by uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, everybody. Right. You ready to laugh? Uh, yeah. right here. I can see the smile on your face already. Yeah. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Uh, knock, knock. Hold on a second. There's somebody at the door. I got to get this, Will. Sorry. Must have been the wind. I don't know. It must have been the wind or something. Sorry. Sorry about that, Will. Let's... All right, where will we? Oh, we're gonna do the joke. The that's, joke. That's right, what we do. All right, all right. Back. Go ahead. Let's, let's, let's do this. All right. Yeah, yeah. Knock, knock. Oops. Hold on a second. What the hell's going on here? What the hell? There's nobody at the door. Then who was doing the knocking? Damn kids. 
Welcome back to our on location show here at the Indie Film Factory. Our special guest, let me just say how incredibly excited I am because I found out that we have something in common. We both shoot here at the Indie Film Factory. When I was young, I heard this voice and it just you just always thought of rich and famous and tons of money. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Robin Leach. How are you, sir? Well, it's good to see you. Thank you. You're Man. talking almost like me. <laughs> <laughs> it must be infectious. It is infectious. Thank you and for being here. And it's the middle here. of the night. And we're still talking <laughs> like this. We don't stop. I know. So thank you for being on the show. I appreciate your being here. It's nice to be here. Four years. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We're, we're working hard, but, but we're here for you. Well, I, I do want to tell you this. I subscribe to your YouTube channel, Hashtag Lux Vegas. Thank you very much. It's very cool. It's free. It, it is. It's free subscription. And I enjoy that part of it. <laughs> but tell us a little bit about that. You're all over Vegas. Well, um, first of all, I think Vegas is the greatest city on earth. I mean, we have the world's best restaurants, yes. the world's best chefs, the world's best entertainment. And in the next couple of years, with the new MGM Arena right there on the Strip, we're going to have the world's best sports. I don't think there's any city anywhere on planet Earth that has what we offer, both for people who live here and for people who come to uh, play here. So I love being here. And, you know, when we came here in 99, which is now 15 years ago. Wow. People were frightened here about television. Huh. It was always strange. They looked at the armoire in the hotel room. Every hotel room had a huge armoire, right. which is where they parked the television set. They were frightened of the television set. They didn't put it out in the old days. They hid it. Really? Because they thought that it was going to keep people in the bedroom and instead of going down to the casino and playing. And I said, you've got the wrong attitude about television. You should embrace television. You should welcome television. And we started bringing TV productions here, nice. programming here. Nice. And slowly, everybody came here. Oprah came here. Barbara Waters came here. And we started telling the Vegas story. And of course, now you hear the slogan, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. It is total rubbish. Really? Because what happens in <laughs> Vegas now goes all over the world. <laughs> that is true. And, and our job, of course, is to tell that story, right. be it on uh, Lux Blog, uh, be it on Vegas Deluxe, um, uh, be it on shows like yours, be it wh wherever we can. We want everybody around the world to know that Vegas is open for business and Vegas is doing well and Vegas is the place for entertainment, fine food, yeah. great chefs, wonderful restaurants and big sports. Yeah, there, there, I mean, there are tons of things happening. And, you know, if, if you, you go out and you look around, you're like, OK, what, what, what's great? What's going on? I, mean, I, think you, I think people would refer to your blog without a doubt to just I find out. I hope so. <laughs> Because you are everywhere, man, in Las Vegas. Uh, we spend a lot of time, sometimes too much time, sometimes 18, 20 hours a day out there wow. pounding the beat because, I mean, this is the city that never sleeps. This That's is true. the city that never stops. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's awake at 6 in the morning, and it doesn't go to sleep until 4 in the morning. That is true. And... Uh, Everything is 24 hours in this city, so it just never stops. Never, ever stops. Now, I was watching TV the other day and flicking through, and I saw your face. My face has on been on <laughs> television just too much recently. <laughs> on an episode of Why Swap. Now, wasn't that a laugh and a hoot? <laughs> I said, oh, my God, Robert lead. Yeah, that was uh, hysterically funny. I actually enjoyed meeting uh, Eric... Uh, Roberts, Julia Roberts, his brother, and his lovely uh, wife, Eliza. But uh, they needed a social adjustment. Really? A little hippie in their attitude to life. And I think, of course, uh, when Eliza came here to be my wife, it was really a fish out of water. Huh. Because uh, for the past 21 years, she's never been out on the town. Never? Never. Hadn't been out to a restaurant in 21 years. What? Hadn't put on makeup, hadn't worn high heels, hadn't dressed up. You mentioned it at the end where right. she just spent all the time with him. Right. All the time. And, and the only thing that they ate at home every night for their entire life 
was a frozen pizza and frozen broccoli. So I completely changed her life, took her to the strip, took her to a great Wolfgang Puck restaurant. Uh, she didn't eat anything that we had served to the table. And then uh, when the rules got changed on the program, uh, she made me watch football on television and she made the frozen the pizza frozen <laughs> and the frozen broccoli. And I said, another boring night at home because I like to go out. Right. So um, it was really an interesting experience, a, a social experiment. But yeah. uh, the good thing was yes. that um, um, she made me more conscious about helping animals and I made her far more conscious about going out and enjoying herself. Okay. So she's put a little bit more lipstick on and a little bit more mascara since she did the television show. There you have it. But having done that, then I go to the ridiculous of going to Macau and getting in the ring with the fighters for what? top rank and I'm playing Michael Buffer doing the <laughs> announcing on HBO. That. And uh, weighing in at 193 pounds in the red corner. I love it. Are you, are you excited to do it? Are you excited to be there for it's that? It's the first time I've ever done it. You know, I love doing brand new things yeah, for yeah. the first time. But you also recently, uh, I guess, made someone's dream come true, to sort of speak, when you, when you did the Showtime special with, uh, with Floyd. Mayweather, and, and of course, he, he said that he grew up with Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous and asked you if you would do the, the opener for that when you, when yeah. you interviewed him. One, with one him. of the great things about uh, doing Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous for 14 years was that it did change a lot of people's lives. Never a week goes by without somebody coming up to me and genuinely saying that their life was changed by watching the show. Now, I know that the show could be attacked because it was frivolous and it was stupid and uh, me jumping into hot tubs with gorgeous girls. I was in a tuxedo, I would open a bottle of champagne. But you know, that was the sugar that coated the pill. And the pill was that if you worked hard and you applied yourself and you were diligent and you were disciplined and you studied hard and you worked hard, you could make your dream come true with the right amount of commitment and right. hard work and study, you could make that dream come true. And in Floyd's case, that was his dream. Uh, everybody has a dream and you can make that dream come true. And somebody who's watching this show right now will get that message and their life will be changed too. Love it, love it. Well, thank you, sir. Please don't stop letting us know where to go, what to do and what's great in Las Vegas. We will keep your champagne wishes and caviar dreams coming true as long as we can. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Robin Leach. We'll be right back right after this. Thanks again, sir. I'm sorry, Will. I'm sorry. It's, it's throwing me off there. These kids in the neighborhood. I don't know what's going on there. But okay. No, it's okay. It's all right. Let's, let's get to the joke, right? Okay, let's okay, go. Here let's we go. Let's do this. All right. Knock, knock. Yeah. These <laughs> kids out there. I, I gotta get this. I told you I don't want your thing mints. Where the hell did they go? Girl Scout cookies. Oh, sorry about that, Will. It's, I don't know what's going on with the door today, but this is... <coughs> it's okay, it's all right. All right, we good? Yeah, we're good. We're, we're, we're all set. Here we let's, go. Let's get back to the joke, all right? I love it. Let's do all it. Right. You ready? Okay. Knock, knock. Esmeralda, did you order pizza or something? Well, they would have to have the gate code, wouldn't they? How the hell did they get in without the gate code? I gotta get the door, Will. The pizza's here. I knew there was no pizza out here. Damn it, Esmeralda. I don't know about you guys, but you might be like me. You know, you love music, it speaks to you, but then you, you, you hear a hip hop song and you're not exactly sure. What exactly does this mean? How does this relate to us? Well, we figured out a way to help you. Welcome to another episode of Master P's Hip Hop Theatre. Now today, a uh, young master is going to change it. I'm not going to delve into the world of hip hop for you today. No, no, I'm going to take you to another genre 
of music, another genre of music that perhaps the listeners of that music hate the quote-unquote rap crap of hip hopistry, and perhaps they think their own music is more wonderful and more, more intelligent. And uh, while I find that their music is wonderful, there's a place for all forms of music, my viewers, remember that. I do feel that uh, perhaps they shouldn't be so quick to point the finger at the unintelligence of uh, hip hopistry. And uh, for example, <coughs> I shall give you uh, a small song that was large for a while. Uh, it's by the band Florida Georgia Line, and their song is Cruise. <coughs> he says this, and I don't know uh, if he indeed did this, if this is autobiographical, or perhaps uh, something he witnessed, uh, but uh, it does uh, give us a wonderful view into the world of uh, the redneck life. And it says this. <coughs> Yeah, when I first saw that bikini top on her, she's popping right out of the South Georgia water. Thought, oh good lord, she has them long tanned legs. I couldn't help myself, so I walked up to her and said, <clears throat> baby, you a song. You make me want to roll my windows down and cruise down a back road, blown stop signs through the middle, every little farm town with you. In this brand new Chevy with a lift kit, would look a hell of a lot better with you up in it. So, baby, you a song. You make me want to roll my windows down and cruise. She should have just said yes at that moment. I mean, that is unbelievable, that the, the amount of effort and wonder. I mean, it's almost the equivalent of honking at a woman on the street. You, you wonder, well, why isn't she into me? Thank you, Florida Georgia Line, for showing us how to do it in the South. Stay classy. <laughs> Let's get back to the jokes, all right? All right, here we go, the here we joke. Go. You ready? Yeah. Knock, knock. Damn it! What the hell is this? These puny little pukes are... I'm going to show them who's the boss around here. Okay. Hasta la vista, cookie. That's it, I've had enough of this. Where the hell are you? Show yourself. Bastards. Damn it. Quit knocking on my door. I'm sorry about that, Will. It's it okay. happens, you know, with the Girl Scout cookies and all of that. It's, okay, you know what? We're, what gonna, gonna we're gonna leave now. Are you sure? Yeah, Come we're... on, we didn't even get to the joke.
everybody's got a story to tell you better fight like hell don't forget why you even started believing in dreams believe you who me they're worth fighting for well, i mean it's difficult to tell a knock knock those little bastards i knew that they would come back again tonight come on you puny little pukes show yourself damn it oh hey who else would be a celebrity getting in there with younger and find some of the former guests of the Will Edwards Show to find out where are they now. So that is exactly what your girl did. Well, first off, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Pam. Oh, right? yeah, thank you. You know, to be on your show, it's pretty... It's oh, pretty... Kelly Schwartz, you are a tall glass of milk, and I just want to do your chocolate quick. <laughs> I didn't realize it was getting so hot in here. Oh, it is. It will be. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Fantastic. So what have you been up to since the last time you were on the Will Edward Show? Well, let's see. I'm always working. Mm. I, I had a child. My, my wife and I had a baby. Oh, you know. Well, she had the baby. Oh, okay. I, I was there to assist. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna ask. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, you know, we've been finishing up our, our last feature film, Territory Eight. It's going into distribution. It'll be, uh, it'll be actually out by by April, by summer. Oh. Yeah. So we're we're working on that, finishing that up, and then we have uh, two other feature films that we're kind of kicking around right now, and then a documentary, uh, which actually I hear it's rumored that uh, Will Edwards himself may be in this documentary. Oh. You know, I love myself some Will Edwards. He is like a chocolate bar, and I just want to unwrap him slowly. Well, I wouldn't go that far. But I mean, I, I, I see where you're going with that. Oh, and then, well, we want to thank you for letting us come on in here to the Indie Film Factory. Y'all got some stuff going on around here. Yeah, yeah. We, well, you know, in addition to Will Edwards' show actually filming some of their, their uh, set pieces here at the mm -hmm. studio, we have uh, a singer, a music musician, songwriter, uh, Daniel Park, who actually does videos and does rehearsals and oh, performs here. Oh, I like him. Uh, yeah, that's right. He's been on a, mm -hmm. you know, a few of the shows. I like Asian food. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I, but you know, so in addition to those those uh, talented people, mm -hmm. we, we always have new talented filmmakers coming in here and doing different things. We had Albert Pion, uh, who was here recently. He shot oh. an entire feature film in one take. What? Yeah, right oh. here, right here in the studio, just right around this corner. Ooh, well, you know. Well, listen, thank you so much for catching up with us and telling us where you are now. Y'all need to get out of here. If you feel like you got some stuff going on, and check out Kelly Schwartz and all of his projects. That's all the time that I have for you. We'll see you next time. Right here on Celebrity Kitty Chat Chat with your girl. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. I can't do that. How do you do that? Bam. No, you know, it's like this. Bam. What is it? Forget it. Let me get a ghetto TV in here. Okay, cool. Thank you. Let's do that. Well, there you have it, our on-location show right here at the Indie Film Factory. I want to thank our very, very special guest, Robin Leach, for being here. Woo! Got to meet Robin Leach. This is my excited dance. What? Got to meet Robin Leach? Uh-uh. And I also have to thank our musical guest, Sonia Sillinger, for being on the program. Last but not least, we have to thank everyone here at the Indie Film Factory, Kelly and Charisma Schwartz, for putting such a phenomenal place here so we will have a home. Well, that's it, guys. We'll see you next time, right here on The Will Edward Show. Hey, somebody open up that Pellegrino. Let's get this party started.
in the Girl Scout cookies. We're going to take over the world. I don't know what that means. I've had too many pizzas. <laughs> I've got to go with the door wheel, I'm sorry. I had a script in my hand there. <laughs> that was fantastic.